Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 6 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. And by Recon Boats. Made by craftsmen. Built for fishermen. Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome back to another musky quick tip segment here on the Musky Mastery YouTube channel. You'll notice that I've got kind of an interesting camera angle here because today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about something that's kind of controversial, uh, but in, in super important uh, when it comes to musky fishing. Everybody's got a little bit different take on this, and that is how do you set the hook on a musky in the figure eight? I have heard everything over the years from you know, set the hook backwards, pull it up, pull it left and right, and shake your hips at the same time. Uh, you know, everybody's got these, you know, oddball tactics when it comes to the figure eight. And I just want to talk about something uh, first as we as we kind of start this video here. First thing being this, when, when your lure is traveling toward the boat, right? Uh, on, on most, uh, you know, traditional situations when we're casting, we cast out and we bring the lure toward the boat. I'm actually not sure if there's another way to do that. You cast it out and the lure always comes in some way, shape or form back to you. Uh, now, if you were to have a muskie grab your lure at any point during that retrieve, what do you do? Well, the simple answer is you set the hook and, and by setting the hook, you pull the lure toward you. So as the lure is coming this way, what do you do when you set the hook? Well, you're actually pulling the lure, technically speaking, away from the muskie's mouth, right? I mean, think about that again. As the lure is traveling toward the boat, you're pulling back, you're pulling back into the fish. And in, in all intensive purposes here, again, you're technically pulling the muskie, you're pulling the lure away from the muskie toward you. So this then translates into my philosophy of, well, how do you set the hook at the boat side? Again, the reason I'm, 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 I said this is kind of controversial is because a lot of folks that I've talked to over the years have like some interesting takes on, they do things differently. Again, when I set the hook out at the end of a bomb cast, I'm gonna pull as hard as I can, and that lure is gonna come toward me. When I hook a muskie at the side of the boat, I'm not going to change that, that whole process. I'm still going to pull the lure essentially away from the fish. And I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. When the muskie, uh, you know, is coming in here on your figure eight, okay? As, as the muskie's chasing it in the eight and chasing it and chasing it and chasing it, what I'm gonna do now is let's say the muskie's right here and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull it um, essentially into, you know, away from the muskie. I guess you would think it's away from the muskie. But it's really not. The whole idea being, if the muskie has its mouth over this hook and you pull, it should be, you know, the whole idea here is that treble hook is going to penetrate the flesh. You're gonna get that little barb stuck somewhere in the muskie's mouth. Again, my whole thing here, my whole point is, I don't reverse things and go backward on the hook set. My whole philosophy is when the muskie puts its mouth over the lure, no matter where it happens, I pull. And you pull and you set that hook. I, again, I, I've, I've, I really try to think that as long as, as, long as you, um, you know, see that the muskie in some way, shape, or form, a lot of times you'll feel the strike. And in the figure eight, many times, you don't feel anything. It's a visual thing because the muskie's swimming with the lure. But essentially though, when that muskie has its mouth over this lure, I'm just gonna pull as hard as I can. I'm gonna just rip it and crank that hook set as hard as I physically can. And then I'll, I'll throw this tip in there as well. Once you get the muskie hooked, what do you do? Well, my philosophy on this is, well, try to figure eight the muskie. Now you're not gonna be able to do that. You might be able to do that on like a 30 or 32 incher. But any muskie that's got some size to it, you can't really figure eight them. But it's that mentality that helps to keep fish hooked, especially if they're not hooked well, you know, at boat side. So you're gonna keep your rod down once you, uh, once you set that hook and you pull it, you keep that rod down and you bury that rod and you keep that rod down. The reason you wanna keep the rod down is to keep the fish down. We don't want these muskies as glamorous as these action shots are. We don't want the muskie jumping up and, and you know, again, it's great for YouTube, it's great for the camera, but 
I would rather be holding one for the camera and not have that musky tail dance and stuff. So again, recapping here on this, this short quick tips video is when you get a musky to eat in the eight, just pull. I do the same, it's the same philosophy that I apply is when a muskie hits out of the at the end of a long bomb cast, I'm pulling the lure um, into the muskie, I'm pulling the lure toward me, the angler, and when you get one at boat side, I'm doing the same thing. I'm pulling the lure um, essentially toward me, um, which technically a lot of people think, oh, that's, that's away from the fish. Well, again, uh, if the muskie's got his mouth or her mouth over the lure, it doesn't matter you're gonna get that treble hook to go and stick somewhere. So I'm not a fan of reversing the angle and all that kind of stuff. Let's keep it simple. Let's just focus on sound fundamentals. You know, hook that fish, keep your rod tip buried down until you or your uh, fellow angler can get that muskie safely in the net. So anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this quick tips video. Um, leave a comment. I'm sure there will be some interesting comments on this type of, uh, uh, topic because everybody has had success doing something different. I oftentimes say this is kind of like your signature. Everybody does it a little differently, but this is this is my my way to do it. So, with that said, guys, I really, really, really hope you've enjoyed this. I really hope you've gotten something out of this. And as always, thanks for watching.